Hi, I'm Jason Blackett. In this Chalk Talk, you'll learn how Zenworks Configuration Management with the Patch Management Services component allows you to quickly and easily patch and determine the patch status of your Windows devices. So by implementing this, customers can save money, and they can save time, and they can improve their security. In a ZCM environment, you basically will implement one of the servers as a Zenworks patch management server. The job of this patch management server is really two things. The first is that each night, the Zenworks server will talk to the patch repository. The patch repository is a series of servers out on the internet that we populate with what we call signatures. Those signatures are what allow us to determine whether a particular patch is applicable to a device and whether it's been properly installed on the device. Additionally, you'll get content itself, so the actual patches that remediate the vulnerabilities that we may find. So those signatures are sent down to the Zenworks server. Those are then plugged into the Zenworks database. Additionally, we then create a bundle that is assigned to every device in your environment and distributed out to those managed devices. And we call that bundle a DAU, or Discover Applicable Updates. Now basically what this is going to do is on each machine, they're going to look at that series of signatures and they're going to report back, do I have this patch or not? So each machine will then send the results back to the Zenworks server. The Zenworks server will then put that information into the database and you as an administrator then have a nice report that says for each patch that I know about, for instance, MS123, there are three machines that have that patch and one machine that does not have that patch. For MS234, there are two machines that do not have that patch and no machines that are already patched. Now the reason for that would be because MS234 may be a patch that only applies to Vista machines. So we're never going to show you, regardless of patch status, whether that these two XP devices need it, because it's not applicable. So it makes sure that your reports are valuable to you. Now what's really nice is that in the console, these numbers are hyperlinks. And if you want to deploy a patch and fix that problem, there's a menu option, you just say deploy. And it basically walks you through a small wizard. That wizard allows you to control things like reboot behavior or even the ability for the user to not accept that patch immediately to do so later on. Once that patch has been pushed down, so the Zenworks server now will push a patch down to Vista, for instance, then the Vista machine applies the patch and it actually reruns the scan to make sure that it's a closed loop process and that the patch has actually been applied. Now the benefits of this whole solution are number one, there's a lot less research you have to do about, hey, these are the patches that have come out today because all of that information is in the patch repository. You don't then have to go searching for that patch and bring it down and test it and all that stuff because it's already been downloaded each night. Now you don't get to ignore the testing. You need to still take a couple machines that don't have the patch, apply it, and then look to roll it out broader. But it does give you a full closed loop process once you have applied that to ensure that your devices got the patch and that the devices stay patched. If a device is no longer patched, it'll report that. And additionally, there's something called mandatory baselines where you can actually say, this patch must stay on every machine in a certain group. And if it disappears, the device will be automatically repatched on the next refresh. So by implementing this, customers can save money and they can save time and they can improve their security. Thank you.